Hello everyone, I'm Rashmi here. Today I'm going to explain friction. What a friction is? Friction is the force which opposes the relative motion between the two surfaces in contact. In this diagram, this is one object and it is in contact with the surface. We are applying the force that is pushing force to move the object and uh, other force is also acting simultaneously that we can say as a friction force that opposes the pushing force. And when the pushing force is more than the friction force, the object moves. It is caused by irregularities on the two surfaces in contact. In this diagram, we are trying to push uh, this book. In this case also, a friction force is working if our pushing force is more than the friction force, the book starts moving. Another example is rubbing the hand. When we rub the hand, we feel the hotness in the hand that is because of the friction force. Factors affecting the friction. The nature of surface that are in contact, that is rough surface, smooth surface, liquid and other surfaces. If the surface area is rough, friction is more and if the surface area is smooth, the friction is less. The normal force acting on the object and friction force is independent of the area of contact. Types of uh, friction, static friction, sliding friction and rolling friction. Static friction, the friction acting between the two objects when there is no relation between them is known as static friction. Before moving, before pushing this object, uh, this, is, this object is at rest. This friction is known as static friction. And when it starts moving, then that sliding force is applicable. In this case, the boy is on the sliding. The, the friction between these two is known as sliding friction. This is the example of rolling friction. When we move the ball, it starts moving and after some time it stops because of the friction force. Spring balance. Spring balance is a device which is used for measuring the force acting on an object. It contains a coil spring. In this case, no metal bob is loaded. In this metal bob is loaded and we can see the force that is in Newton. Advantages of friction. If friction is uh, not applicable, we cannot write with the pen or pencil. We cannot write with the chalk on the blackboard. And if the object starts moving, if friction is not applicable, then we cannot stop the object. We cannot walk on the road without the, the uh, friction force. We cannot fix nail on the wall. Disadvantages of friction. Friction reduces speed. See, if a uh, vehicle is uh, moving and uh, there is uh, friction force is there, then it uh, slows down after some time. And if the uh, area is, if the road is rough, Worn out the materials. If we just uh, move on or we run on the rough uh, road, our shoes get spoiled. Cause damages to the parts of machine. Friction causes damage to the parts of the machines and it produces the heat. The tires of vehicles are also worn out. Methods of increasing or decreasing friction. By making surface rough, friction can be increased like the tires of vehicles, the sole of shoes, etc. We can see the sole of the shoes and the tires. The area is, the surface area is rough. So that's why friction can be increased. Friction can be decreased by polishing both the surface. The interlocking projections are minimized. Ball bearing, a rolling friction. This is a picture of ball bearing. Uh, rolling friction is, is like less than the sliding friction. In rotating machinery, the shafts are fixed on the ball bearing so that the friction can be reduced considerably. Lubricants 
are also applied on the two surfaces so that uh, frictions can be decreased. Fluid friction. We know air is very light and thin. Yes, yet it exerts frictional force on the objects moving through it. The frictional force exerted by the fluids is called the drag. And in this case, the object, uh, this is the direction of motion and the fluid friction is working in this direction. The frictional force on an object in a fluid depends on its speed with respect to the fluid. The frictional force also depends on the shape of the object and the nature of the fluid. Why do birds and airplanes have a streamlined shape? Aeroplanes and birds both fly in the air and have to face friction exerted by air. They are so shaped that they do not have to lose energy while overcoming the frictional force exerted by air to fly. Therefore, the air, airplanes and birds are shaped streamlined so that they can overcome the frictional force of air. If you have any doubts or clarifications, feel free to contact me via my email. Thank you everyone.